Kevin Myers, born March 30, 1947, is an English-born Irish journalist and writer. He has contributed to the Irish Times column An Irishman's Diary, The Irish Independent, and the Irish edition of the Sunday Times. Myers is known for his controversial views on a number of topics, including single mothers, aid for Africa and the Holocaust. In July 2017, the Sunday Times announced that Myers would no longer be writing for them following an article he wrote on the BBC gender pay gap, for which he was accused of anti-Semitism and misogyny. Biography Myers was born in Leicester, and grew up in England. His father, an Irish GP, died when Myers was 15 and away at Radcliffe College, a Catholic boarding school. His father's early death created financial difficulties, though Myers managed to stay at the school with the help of both the school and the local education authority. Myers moved to Ireland to go to university and graduated from University College Dublin, UCD, in 1969. He subsequently worked as a journalist for Irish broadcaster Root, and reported from Northern Ireland during the height of the Troubles. Controversies Bastard's Controversy In 2005, he attracted considerable criticism for his column, An Irishman's Diary, in which he referred to children of unmarried mothers as bastards. How many girls, and we're largely talking about teenagers here, consciously embark upon a career of mothering bastards because it seems a good way of getting money and accommodation from the state. Ah. You didn't like the term bastard? No, I didn't think you would. Kevin Myers, An Irishman's Diary, The Irish Times, February 8, 2005 Former Minister of State Nuala Fennell described the column as particularly sad. She said the word bastard was an example of pejorative language that was totally unacceptable. Myers issued an unconditional apology two days later, entirely at own initiative. Then Irish Times editor, Geraldine Kennedy, also apologized for having agreed to publish the article. Aid to Africa In July 2008, Myers wrote an article arguing that providing aid to Africa only results in increasing its population, and its problems. This produced strong reactions, with the Immigrant Council of Ireland making an official complaint to the Garda Siachana alleging incitement to hatred. Hans Zomer of Doches, an association of NGOs, and another complainant, took a complaint to the press council on the grounds that it breached four principles of the council's code of practice, 1, accuracy, 3, fairness and honesty, 4, respect for rights, and 8, incitement to hatred. In their case details the press council said. Beginning with the headline Africa is giving nothing to anyone apart from AIDS, the mode of presentation was marked by rhetorical extravagance and hyperbole which used the failings of some to stigmatize whole societies, employing a level of generalization that was distorting and seriously insulting to Africans as a whole and that, in addition the article resorted, in several instances, to language that was gratuitously offensive and was, in the view of the press council, likely to cause grave offence to people throughout sub-Saharan Africa and to the many Africans in particular who are now resident in Ireland. They concluded that the article did breach Principle 8 of the Code of Practice and that it was likely to cause grave offence. It did not, however, find reason to conclude that it was likely to stir up hatred or that there was any intention to do so. They also concluded that the council did not have clear grounds on which to make any findings in relation to the complaints under Principles 1, 3 and 4 of the Code. Press Council of Ireland Complainants and the Irish Independent Anti-Semitism and Misogyny Myers is a self-described Holocaust denier. He attracted criticism for a 2009 article for the Irish Independent in which he claims, there was no Holocaust or Holocaust, as my computer software insists, and six million Jews were not murdered by the Third Reich. 
these two statements of mine are irrefutable truths. In the article, Myers criticizes the six million figure though he says millions of Jews were murdered and criticizes the term Holocaust because Ost Jewish victims of the Third Reich were not burned in the ovens in Auschwitz. They were shot by the hundreds of thousands in the Lebensraum of the East, or were worked or starved to death in a hundred other camps, across the Reich. Overall, he states, I'm a Holocaust denier but I also believe that the Nazis planned the extermination of the Jewish people, as far as their evil hands could reach. At the end of July 2017, Myers contributed an article entitled Sorry, Ladies, Equal Pay Has to Be Earned to the Irish edition of the Sunday Times about the lower income of female presenters working for the BBC, after it was reported that two-thirds of the BBC's top-paid stars were men and only one of its top ten best-paid presenters is a woman. He speculated, is it because men are more charismatic performers? Because they work harder? Because they are more driven? Possibly a bit of each and that men might be paid more because they work harder, get sick less frequently and seldom get pregnant. Myers further alleged that Claudia Winkleman and Vanessa Feltz are higher paid than other female presenters because they are Jewish. He wrote, Jews are not generally noted for their insistence on selling their talent for the lowest possible price, which is the most useful measure there is of inveterate, lost with all hands stupidity. The editor of the Irish edition, Frank Fitzgibbon, issued a statement saying in part this newspaper abhors anti-Semitism and did not intend to cause offense to Jewish people. Martin Ivans, editor of the Sunday Times, said the article should not have been published. Ivans and Fitzgibbon apologized for publishing it. After complaints from readers and the campaign against anti-Semitism, the article was removed from the website. It has been announced by the newspaper that Myers will not write for the Sunday Times again. Myers was defended by the chair of the Jewish Representative Council of Ireland, Maurice Cohen, who said that Myers was not anti-Semitic, but had rather inadvertently stumbled into an anti-Semitic trope. Branding Kevin Myers as either an anti-Semite or a Holocaust denier is an absolute distortion of the facts. Myers apologized for this article on radio saying that it is over for me professionally as far as I can see, and that I think they are the most gifted people who have ever existed on this planet and civilization owes an enormous debt to them I am very, very sorry that I should have so offended them. Other work Myers was presenter of the Challenging Times television quiz show en route during the 1990s. In 2000, he published a collection of his An Irishman's Diary columns, ISBN 1-85182-575-4 In 2001, he published Banks of Green Willow, a novel, which was met with negative reviews. In 2006, he published Watching the Door, ISBN 1-84351-085-5, about his time as a journalist in Northern Ireland during the 1970s. The book received positive reviews in The Times, The Guardian, and The New Statesman, while The Independent published a more mixed review that wondered whether there was an element of hyperbole in Meyer's account. He is member of the Film Classification Appeals Board, formerly known as the Censorship Board, and a regular contributor to radio programs on News Talk 106, particularly Lunchtime with Eamon Keane and The Right Hook. He has regularly appeared on The Last Word on Today FM. Personal Life Myers is married and lives in County Kildare. He is the brother-in-law of TV presenter, producer, and UK Big Brother housemate Anna Nolan. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.